after a polite discussion with local rivals. First Iron Kindled Wires has claimed the position of Queen of the Cudgel of Amusing. All right, so that means we need to please this person as soon as possible. Oh, hey, look at this. Who is this? Umau Angusm... Eg- Anguzumosmolo. Wow, it's a hard one. Belted, perfected. Not the greatest of names. Artist, socializes visitor has come to perform. She was curious about underdrinks. Okay, well, that's good. That's good. Uh, as is all this work they're doing here. Do I have uh, bedrooms for this? I do. Do I have doors? I do. Good, because I want people to have places to sleep before they get too stressed out. All right, so here, 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 we have... Uh, progress towards what will be under gardens or even under uh, pens for pets or animals in general. Now, let's see what we've else what we got. We've got some halls started. These will be long extended entryways to the main fortress. Part of the point was to have uh, protected access to water over here. Have they made this thing yet? No, it is designed, but it needs masonry. May be a while before they get to it, but it also may be a while before it becomes, you know, super amazing, crucial, dangerous, anyways. Ukur Stedatamzir, human bard, is visiting. Uh oh. First alpaca nosing chiav, stoneworker has been possessed. Where are you going, stoneworker? Boom. Craft worship, okay. At least they don't seem to be blocked on what they want just yet. Hey, hey, we have a well. Or at least well water. Still don't have a well, though. Why do you keep canceling this one, hmm? It has begun a mysterious construction. So where are you again? There you are. What are you working with? Diorite, 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 and cherry wood logs. First alpaca, nosing chiav. Stoneworker has created Izzel Call, a diorite bracelet. Yay. She claims it as an heirloom in the name of the family ancestor First Microcline, currently confused. So, interesting. I haven't really paid that close attention to any relationships they have, in part because it's so hard to tell just by looking. Ah, let's see here. We'd want to extend this further. So let's do that. Let's see here. Boom. Boom. Right. And then... I'm trying to think. Let's continue this way. I'm trying to be somewhat artistic in this. Boom, boom, boom. Get some. Uh... So actually, let's kill these. Boop, boop, boop. And actually, boom, boom, boom. Bear with me as I make funny noises. So, right, okay, and then we will extend this, and then three, like this sort of concave, I don't know, I can't remember if it's convex or concave, but I do like it anyways, it just makes for a more interesting shape to things, but I'm going to take this all the way down to the other end. Well, unless I can't. It's two, two, three. Uh, I can't quite go four. Let's just call this the end right here. Boom. And then it was four, three, two, two. All right. Look at him go! Look at him go! Look at him go! Placing a few more phyllite, phyllite, phyllite. Sorry, phyllite blocks. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Finally, finally. Let's see. Assign location. Empty bane of content. Underdrinks. I'm gonna just extend it as part of underdrinks for now. Bed, bed. Door, door, door. Okay, BCW. Boom. I'm going to make this area up here a little bit darker and use some of these other blocks that I haven't been using. Is that a... Yeah, a suspended one right there. 
RPG. Boop, boop. Make sure that can be done. And at least seal it up. Ooh, migrants. Boom. Filling up these as well so that monsters can't drop down from above. Okay, so I don't know if this is the final list, but there are quite a few new ones. It just occurred to me just now, I might want to make custom casts to sort of sort these guys into the kinds of um, jobs I sort of expect them to do, because I do notice that I personally have some patterns. So if I just, you know, further those patterns in a more recognizable way. All right, so first up, third Raimi Oath Uth McNamal. He, the first, well, second he migrant we've ever had, 58 years old, large and muscular, sideburns are clean shaven, medium length mustache. He's arranged in double braids, his very long beard is braided, long hair is braided, ears are braided, slightly sunken jade eyes are braided, hair is braided, and amber and pale brown. Strong but quick to tire and is clumsy. Third Raimi likes covalite, sterling silver, sard, custard, apple, woodwood. Raimi fabric, his namesake. The color goldenrod ducks, plump helmets, and when possible prefers to consume giant lion tamarind and blackberry wine and detests oysters. Has a very great ability to focus, a deep well of patience, See? A natural ability with music and a way with words, but he has a meager kinesthetic sense and very, well, little willpower. Next up, Third Oak Diazin, or Magmatic Watch. Presently an animal caretaker, I have just added to them the ability to hunt, butcher, and deal with skins. She, 62 years old, is fat, hair is straight, very long hair is braided. Straight braided, well, I suppose that could be. Eyebrows are high, ears are extremely narrow, eyelashes are short, hair is amber, skin is pale brown, eyes are jade, nose is somewhat long, slow to heal, very quick to tire, quite clumsy. She has a great feel for social relationships and good spatial sense and away with words, but poor focus, like me. <laughs> Third oak likes hematite, silver, alexandrite, oak, platypus leather, splints, geese, and oh garden crest she prefers to consume a foxtail millet beer and only foxtail millet beer detests ring maggots next up third copper ona onam konos shimmer in, in, in interesting interesting onam or konos one of those two is a broken word in my extra raw files that's good please take notes uh, let's see, she is 80 years old, she's tall and very muscular, Arrow, narrow ears are splayed out, hair is straight, very long hair is braided, nose is slightly upturned, head is somewhat broad, hair is amber, pale brown skin is slightly wrinkled, her eyes are jade. She's very strong but flimsy and very slow to heal. She has a great musical sense and a great deal of patience but has poor analytical abilities, poor creativity, a poor kinesthetic sense, and a poor memory. Who are you again? Third Copper likes Fallen Star, Copper, Blue Jade, Giant Elephant Leather, Maces, Kilts, Millstones, and Geese. When possible, she prefers to consume Giant Warthog, Sheep Cheese, Dwarven Ale, and Longland Flower, while also hating Oysters. Third Lapis, Iden Istbar, Paddle Roses, Gem Setter, now also a Gem Cutter, and also a Farmer. Uh, let's see, she is 53 years old, her hair is clean shaven, her narrow splayed out ears are very short, her nose is slightly upturned, her hair is amber, skin is pale brown. You know, there might be some variance in hair color occasionally. Eyes are jade, she's quick to tire, flimsy, and very slow to heal. Sharp intellect, though, and a good feel for social relationships and good creativity, but she has very bad intuition. She likes basalt, black bronze, lapis, Vulture Tooth? Is that like Vulture Beak? I don't really understand. Vulture Tooth. Uh, I know geese have teeth, but they're a little, little, they're, I'm not sure they actually count as bone. Uh, naked Mole Dog Bone, Giant Nautilus Shell. I like that too. Gems, 
Bucklers, Millstones, Cats, Creepy Crawlers, The Sound of the South Wheel, Sight of the Walk of Wanderers. <laughs> Sounds appropriate. When possible, she sh prefers to consume giant cave toad, cherry wine, and grapes while hating wood frogs. Third, Siamang Sujiro Shur, or Glass Circle. He, so number three of all of the male migrants, is 75 years old. Tall, sideburns are clean shaven, very long mustache is neatly combed, medium length beard is arranged in double braids, his hair is clean shaven, somewhat splayed out ears are extremely narrow, jade eyes are cl slightly close set, hair is amber, skin is pale brown, nose is somewhat long, his nose bridge is slightly convex. He is clumsy and very quick to tire. It's a great ability to focus, a great affinity for language, and a great deal, or great feel, that is. Uh, for social relationships, but he has meager creativities, poor so spatial senses, little natural inclination toward music, and a poor memory. He likes Amazonite, Fine Pewter, Pipe Opal, Siamang Leather, Dread Howa Antler, The Color Clear, I'm not sure if that counts, Gems, Cabinets, Large Gems, too, Animal Traps, The Sound of the Beige Azure Bells, The Sight of the Cerulean Velvet. When possible, he prefers to consume Strangler, which I did consider as his name. Brown Bullhead and Dwarven Beer. By the way, he hates cave spiders. Third Hammer, Uzan Labash, Murdered Axe. He, number four, is 80 years old. His broad bodied and very fat. His very long sideburns are braided. His very long mustache is arranged in double braids. His very long beard is arranged in double braids. His hair is clean shaven. He has a jutting chin. Short ears are narrow. Hair is amber. Pale brown skin is slightly wrinkled. His eyes are jade. Very rarely sick and is strong, but he is very slow to heal. He has a great kinesthetic sense, a very good sense of empathy. Very good intuition and a uh, good spatial sense, but he has little willpower and very bad analytical abilities. He likes anhydrite, tin, green diamond, warhammers, armor stands, guinea fowl, and prefers to consume lion, salmon, and beetroot wine all at the same time. He absolutely detests hamsters. Third pearl, Syat Gavos. No, Syopat Gavos, sorry. Third pearl, copper leaves. He, well, so I guess we'll stop counting the he's now. 62, sideburns are clean, shaven, very long mustache is arranged in double braids, very long beard is arranged, so his very long hair is tied in a ponytail. That is new. His short ears are extremely narrow, has a prominent chin, nose bridge is slightly convex, hair is amber, skin is pale brown, eyes are jade, incredibly quick to heal, but is very weak. He has a way with words, but he has a meager ability with social relationships and poor spatial senses. Likes Fallen Star, Aluminum, Moss Agate, Ramy Fabric, The Color Pearl, Maces, Tables, Figurines. Let's see. First to consume Quinoa Beer and Foxtail Millet and hates lizards. Third, Kiwi Dog, Dumed Lissed, Fortify Marked, Planter and Cook. She is 54. Is tall, weak, and skinny. Weak and skinny, really. Eyebrows are high, slightly flattened ears are narrow, head is broad, her hair is straight, medium length hair is braided, hair is amber, pale brown. We could probably skip the pale brown and jade stuff from here on out. She is quick to heal and slow to tire. She is clumsy, though, flimsy and weak. She has great analytical abilities, a deep bow of patience, a good kinesthetic sense, and a good spatial sense, but she has very little pill, uh, willpower meager creativity, and quite poor focus. She likes Stibnite, Platinum, Ancient Star, the color green-yellow, uh, dogs, part of their name, Foxtail Millet, and let's see, prefers to consume Kiwi, the other part of their name, Mead and Pearl Millet, and hates Barks Scorpions. Third Obsidian, Ungobsidur, Aqua Emerald, 79 years old, has long hair in a ponytail, very short ears that are extremely narrow, head is broad, eyebrows are somewhat high, jade eyes are slightly sunken, nose is slightly upturned, nose bridge is slightly convex, and the regular color scheme. She is agile, but very quick to tire. She has a sum of patience, 
a meager kinesthetic sense, poor empathy, a large deficit of willpower, quite poor focus, and little natural inclination towards music. She likes obsidian, platinum, jasper opal, crossbows, bucklers, crowns, goblets, and prefers to consume giant albatross, cave fish, and swamp whiskey while hating large roaches, as we all do. Third sandstone, Roldethaban, Anguish Construct, Tanner, is 55 year, years old. He is broad, yet weak. Long sideburns are braided. Very long mustache is arranged in double braids. His very long beard is arranged in double braids. Hair is clean shaven. This seems to be popular. He has a prominent chin, short ears, eyelashes are short. Jade eyes are slightly close set. Bridge is slightly convex of nose, that is. Regular color scheme. He's very weak. Has a great sense of empathy, a deep well of patience, and very good focus, but a questionable spatial sense and very bad analytical abilities. Like sandstone, rose gold, gray chalcedony, chalcedony? I don't know how to say it. Horse leather, the color red purple, bolts, robes, turkeys, dreadwood frogs, and likes to consume date wine while hating on those. Cute and lovable bark scorpions, what's wrong with you? Third, cottonseed saxilagam, trumpet gorged, is 67 years old, with flattened ears that are narrow, eyebrows that are somewhat high, head that is somewhat tall, long hair that's tied in a ponytail, bear with my pauses, skin is pale brown, you all know that her nose is somewhat long. She is agile, but is susceptible to disease, very flimsy and very weak. She has willpower, but meager creativity, very bad intuition, and very bad sense of empathy. Likes native gold, iron, chrysoberyl, sheep leather, great scepters, the sound of the saffron of embraces, the sight of the reticent aquamarine sister, and when possible, prefers to consume lungfish, tomato wine, cottonseed oil, and bananas, preferably cottonseed oil on bananas. She absolutely detests wood frogs. Third, mink bone, carilegatus, shell steak, is 71 years old, her head is broad, somewhat short ears are narrow, her hair is amber, medium length hair is braided, her skin is pale brown, her eyes are jade. She is very strong, very slow to tire, and tough. She has an ability to read emotions fairly well, but she has poor analytical abilities, a little difficulty with words, poor spatial senses, and little natural inclination towards music. She likes earthenware, sterling silver, claro opal, green tree frog tooth, I don't think they have teeth, mink bone, the color of mauve taupe, querns, uh, winter melons, and when possible, she prefers to consume bat ray and hard wheat beer. And uh, rightly so, she hates those slimy, horrible little hamsters. And I think finally, this was a large migration wave. I'm so sorry, it took up most of the episode. Third bronze cabzon named Helms. He is 85 years old with uh, clean-shaven sideburns, very long mustache that's neatly combed, very long beard arranged in double braids, very long hair neatly combed. That's a change from uh, what seems to be the normal pace lately. Ears are extremely long, uh, narrow, sorry. Pale brown skin is wrinkled, nose bridge is slightly convex, slightly sunken eyes, hair is amber with a touch of gray, nose is slightly upturned. He is mighty and slow to tire. He has an ability to read emotions fairly well, but has a questionable spatial sense, meager creativity, meager ability with social relationships, poor focus, poor analytical abilities, a shortage of patience, and poor memory. This person's a mess. They like microcline, iron, white jade, king cobra tooth, sorry, giant king cobra tooth, cave crocodile bone, the color bronze, backpacks, statues, goblets, alpacas, uh, likes various entertainments, and prefers to consume badger and teft beer, absolutely detesting large roaches. Now for some actual gameplay, <laughs> doing what I can to shore up and, and sort of protect this area here. Let's get this bit out of the way, BCW, Boom. this is darker stuff, this is diorite, CW. I'm also going to be shoring up this wall here, granted it means they have to walk longer to come in, whoa, wait a minute. Nope, not die, right? BCW. Almost did that wrong. We need feel light. But yeah, I, I want any attacker to have to get funneled in. Uh, well, a bit of a problem. I'm running out of feel light. Uh, let's see. That's pretty nice looking, though. I know there's some... All of this through here is feel light. So let's... 
extend this business, get ourselves a little bit more. I mean, there's fill out in the ground I can save, but I just want to actually, yeah, let's just do that. That's fine. Having them take out part of that floor. I'm going to put an upward, uh, upward staircase, maybe a downward staircase. And we're suspended above nothing, so yeah, let's just do upward. Point here is I'm going to make a tower eventually, and maybe it's going to be a burial tower. I am not entirely sure yet, but that's my first inclination. Now, do we want to use a specific kind of thing for the burial tower uh, stairwells here? Nickel wood log, hazelwood logs, got tons of those. Birch and blocks, oh good, we got more of those. I was using those as four parts. Copper bars, yeah, let's do a copper themed burial tower in the future here. Cage trap, cage trap, cage trap, stone trap, stone trap, and stone trap. Just, you know, for some very temporary protection. So you make four rock nests of what? D. Gas site. Horn blend. Let's do horn blend nests for birds, which we'll then put down here. Keep them out of harm's way. Boom, boom, boom. N. Right? N, N. Yep. Sometimes you just can't do it the first time. N. All right, we don't need dogs. We need hens. We need roosters. Guinea fowl. We need not the cat, but we do need the guinea hen. Do we have any others? Llama, turkey hen, and not a lamb because they'll starve down here, at least right now. Oh, they're getting so close to sealing that up permanently. Ah, uh, I just like I need like five more. No, not downstairs. Thank you. Five more. Yeah, five more and it will finally be sealed. Boom. Adding two more mason halls whose only purpose was to make fillet blocks, that helped a lot. So that's the last of it, assuming they get it done before we get attacked by presumably the inaugural were creature, because they always come. Ooh. Make wooden cages, done. Got, oh, all three are installed now. Very good, very good, very good. All right. I think I'll call it an episode. Sorry for all the migrants. I did put a cap though, like I think 40, not including babies and stuff. So let's see, you 35. You can't really expect to have that many more migrants. Okay, so thanks for watching. Come again next time.